Things don't change much around these parts. In fact, folks around here, well, I'll probably tell you, they prefer the good old days. That's why today is, well, it's a good day. There's no artist can paint her, no poet can write. How she warms it. Hey, Doyle, bring the tractor down with the bucket and we'll take yeah. them some fencing out. To me, this is one of the happiest times of my life to see this. Is that good? I found out about it and I got had a three hour drive actually here this morning. How we doing on wire time? Running low? You know, when you have volunteers take their Saturday coming from Wheeling and Beckley and four four hours away working like dog. Can you hold it right here? Yeah. It was like Katie barred the door with people wanting to help. All right, y'all done? One more. Oh, that's good, right there. No, it ain't easy. No? You pulled it right away from us again. It, you know, for the youth is what I'm looking for right now, like my grandchildren. I love the land mine. I like to see it be more West Virginia, more diversified than what it is. And they're making a good effort. Go down and grab the wire. I'm just happy, excited. Elk was here one time, but went extinct, so it's nice to bring them back. Well, it seems like a lot of people are excited to have them back. Um, they were native here once, and they've disappeared, and I really like the idea of bringing them back into the area. The reintroduction goes really well. I think it would be, we might get to the point where they might be able to go out and hunt elk one day. And I think it's just going to be a good area where people, families, can come and just enjoy looking at elk. People are excited to, to know they're out there. Uh, everybody wants to come up and see these things. One day we'll be able to hunt them. That's what I'm hoping for. If not me, maybe my kids, grandkids, somebody can hunt them. Actually have wild elk in the state of West Virginia again. I, there's something about them. They just give you the shakes. So it's an, it's an exciting time, and uh, I think the next couple, three, four years uh, really going to be, uh, you know, kind of a little proof in the pudding. So. At one time, America was home to an estimated 50 million elk. They thrived in all reaches of the U.S. with populations in nearly all lower 48 states. By the turn of the century, only a small fraction remained in a few western states. It's hard to imagine that Arizona itself is a benefactor of transplanted elk. Receiving 83 elk from Yellowstone Park in 1913. Elk populations in Arizona today are nearing 50,000. Now, the state is paying it forward. Yeah, she's 
60 elk will be captured for the purpose of relocation. After about a month of monitoring and testing these elk, three drivers will make the 1900 mile, 30 hour non-stop drive from Arizona to West Virginia. Man did elk in in the east. <laughs> so, you know, I think a lot of it is, is deep down in their hearts, they'd like to, you know, to kind of maybe make up for that a little bit. Right now, it's just a waiting game. Everybody, it's kind of like Christmas, waiting to open that package. So, uh, you know, just waiting a few more minutes, we'll have elk on the ground. It's an awesome film. It's great to be a part of it. Making history tonight. It's really untold what it means. Bringing back a part of history that's been gone for over 140 years. That, I mean, if you look around, especially this area of the state, you've got elk creeks, you've got elk river, you've got elk everything that tells you that the elk were here once. They're back again. Well, good job, man. Excellent. I think everybody will go to bed with a smile on their face tonight. <laughs> I just hope we get to go next year and pick up more. I hope. Yeah, that'd be great. Huh? Be really great. For the most part, they realize that they may not individually get a chance to hunt these things one of these days, but they're going to get to see them. I honestly believe that without the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. I don't believe we'd be where we are today. Before we ever put the first elk on the ground in West Virginia, Rocky Mountain Elk was funding habitat improvement projects on our public lands here. I don't think this project would be, uh, maybe even not even be started. They put their money where their mouth is, in essence, when it comes time to do things on the ground, and they've been a super partner for us. It's been said that the more things change, the more things stay the same. And folks around here wouldn't have it any other way. My home, my home sweet home. Welcome back to Home Sweet Home.